Oh. How you doing, Marad? Hey, does it work? All right. Yeah, it's perfect now, man. Okay. So let's uh, let's introduce you. This is uh, Marod from uh, Poison Heart is your shop name, right? Yeah, and you're yeah. in Wur Wurzburg. Wurzburg is it? Wurzburg. Yeah, it's it's Wurzburg. just near Frankfurt in Germany. Nice. Okay. Um, so uh, let's start with uh, um, we did the who and the where. Um, I guess how long have you been tattooing? When did you start? Oh, I did my first one in 99, so uh, now it's 22, like 23 years now. Nice. That same year as me, I, uh, 99 was me too. All right. Oh, cool, yeah. cool. So we can say we start back in the 90s, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the very end of the 90s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and so, yeah, to, today I, I wanted to discuss with you dragons because... Uh, I've been I've been looking at your stuff. Actually, uh, Luke Atkinson turned me on to your to your work. Oh, okay. And mm -hmm. and he was like, "Man, you got to see Marode's stuff." And then he, of course he did those prints with you. And uh, and then the thing that really stood out to me was that one dragon you made with the more dragons inside the face and everything like that. <laughs> uh, close up, I was like, "Oh, the fractal, the fractal dragon!" Like, absolutely yeah. incredible, man. The creativity. Thank and, you, thank you. And and uh, knowing what I know about dragons, I see, I see some of the the influences from from the old Hogai school and things mm -hmm. like yeah, that. Yeah, you've managed to put in there. Mm -hmm. But I've also noticed that you've totally made it your own thing, which is cool. It's not a carbon copy. It's like your own version of of these. Thank you. If you see it like this, uh, that's a uh, that's a nice compliment. I try to do my best. You know, just. Uh... Overwork the old stuff like Hogai and, and, and the old references and, and, and just like like sampling it doing all new and, and over and over and over again and you know and a little bit like and you know especially when you're talking about the 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 these dragon with the little dragon in it's like it's like Robert Williams you know it's like like taking mushrooms and like doing like crazy stuff with it yeah very so, cool yeah yeah but i just yeah it's a little bit it's like my hobby you know the dragons is for me it's the the the, the best the the ultimative motif you know like yeah who who would you say that your your main kind of favorite dragon tattooists are whether modern or not modern it's uh you know just out of curiosity i mean we all have that group of the same yeah, guy. Sure. Of course, Mick. I got uh, two dragons by him. Maybe on Saturday I got an appointment. Maybe I get some uh, some more from him. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. I guess I gave he's... him an owie on his nose though. Ah, I fell okay. down skateboarding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's. I guess he's a main influence. And and uh, Mike Rober. I guess Mike Rober. He really. He got a time where he. You know that that back piece with with um, uh, it's 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 published in that Adrian Lee book. It's like like the, the like the old leaf. It's just the first quarter of of a dragon, and it's just some waves, and it's just simple and plain. And I guess this is for me. It's the best dragon ever did. You know, mm. it's just it's. Perfect, just perfect. So I, I, I guess I'm really, really hard influenced by this one. Yeah, nice, and all nice. of course, all of this is his stuff before, you know. Sure. Yeah, I, and, I remember Mick showed me a, a book that he had of uh, some of Mike Roper's photographs because it's hard mm -hmm. to find any any of his work. But mm -hmm. like, kind of big, I, I see that. I see that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> insane, insane, insane. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and of course all these other guys, you know, it's like the, the dragon, you know, like the Itchy Bay, and 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 you know, even Griff. Uh, I don't know if I s s uh, say it right. And of course, I ex uh, I apologize for my bad English. So it's no, it's perfect. Tough, it's tough for me, you know. Um, I sure. stuttering all the time in my own language, so it's. Um, um, even Griffith from Griffiths from from Australia. Australia, yes. Yeah, he doing really really crazy stuff, you know. And he does good biomechanical too. He's kind of got this, the flow in both. Yeah, worlds. yeah, 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 and all that Greeky, you know, 
yeah tooth and yeah. claws and yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so i guess it's in the end it's a really you know it's just a little group of of guys doing really good dragons you know like like i don't know it's just it's always a taste stuff you know but um more because i'm coming from graffiti and you know from from the 90s skateboard thing and um my i is a little bit more socialized with you know like a little little more new school you know yeah yeah but on the other way not too comic thing i just yeah just the a nice mix between the old Hogai thing and, 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 you know, making a little bit not too plain, not too old school, you know? So, yeah, I guess these are these guys, you know, Ichibei, he getting always more old schoolish the, 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 the last years, but you know, his first sketchbook, I was really, really blown away by this stuff. Yeah, yeah, he had that foundation yeah. of the new school mm -hmm. stuff and mm -hmm. pushing mm -hmm. the boundaries and, and mm -hmm. really crazy illustrations and three dimension mm -hmm. and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then you see him now and, and, and it's, so, it's so much more simplified. But I think that's mm -hmm. why his simple stuff is better than somebody who just started simple. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, and it's just, it's like... For me, it's it's it changes, you know. It's it's just like sometimes I like a little bit more like this, and sometimes it, you know it's get it's yeah. I totally understand why he doing he. Um, oh, it's so tough to explain it in English. Um, I I understand why he um, makes it all more simple now, you know. And sometimes I try to do more simple, and then I just then um, it's I can't, you know. It's I'm not easy. It's, it's yeah, simple, it's I'm not easy. In that you know, I'm trapped in that graffiti stuff thing, you know, and and of course, grimy was a big influence at first, you know, because I I was really blown away by his stuff because he come from the same group, I would say, like like. The, graffiti impact you know and, and and with the coloring schemes and and stuff like that you know and yeah. so it's really tough for me to to overcome this you know and make it more simple and more japanese you know i i see what you're saying but i one of my favorite things about grimy i've got to say also is that um you know, you just take some of his skulls, for example, right? So he's got his crazy full back piece skull in dimension with the teeth coming out all gnarly and everywhere. But he can also make like a traditional American version of that same skull, simple mm -hmm. and flat. Mm -hmm. and, and they're mm -hmm. both perfect. But I like mm -hmm. that he's able to still have, you can see it's grime but it, mm -hmm. it's completely different styles, you know? Yeah, he mastered all that style, so yeah. 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 Yeah, sure. Sure. Because usually yeah, people I, only pick one style and they stay with that style, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes nowadays, sometimes I think people just choose their style too, too, too fast, you know? Just like, I'm in that game now and I'm doing just like, just straight Japanese, you know? And for me, I guess it makes fun. You do do it like more little like this and a little like that and just playing around with things, you know, but I don't know. Yeah, there's so much to explore, right? I, yeah. I, and you mentioned skateboarding. It's like it's like being a street skateboarder and then one day you're like, oh, maybe I should study some uh, uh, freestyle or, or some vert, you know. It should just, just to have fun with it, you know, just like, yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Uh, okay, here's here's one. Uh, how long have you been interested in dragons? Like, uh, is, did it stem from a childhood thing, fantasy dragons, or anything like that? I think so. It it was my first tattoo that I did. Uh, I get yeah. It was just like I don't know. I 
I can remember the first two I see and, and I um or I saw, uh, but I don't I don't can remember why I'm really so fascinated by dragons, you know. But I guess it was just the impact, the power, you know. But I have no no a special day when I saw this dragon or something like that. I don't know. It, for me, it was just like. The doing it was like okay, these are dragons and skulls and you know <laughs> and daggers and, and 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 stuff like that. So it was totally natural to 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 choose this subject. You know, like okay, of course, when I'm the doing, I have to be good at doing dragons. You know, because it's the you know the main thing. You know, and and probably the most complicated thing yeah yeah really really it's just it's it's the most complicated and i think you can you know boy it's sorry it's hard to explain you you can you, you cannot copy it from pinterest or something like that if you want to get have a really good back piece with a dragon or arm like that you have to draw it you know maybe you can do it a little bit and steal some there and some there but you know i saw some weeks ago there is an app for 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 that um like tattoo smart app doing dragons you know but it doesn't work you know yeah 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 i, huh. I, I don't buy that you know doesn't matter but but there's an app where you can okay you can put the hat like this and the hat like that and you know but to to figure it out you have to draw it you can steal your your carbs or or you know your 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 whole guy uh, your um your ghosts or stuff like that you know you can steal it from from pinterest and you can put it on arm and it doesn't matter but your dragon you have to draw it you know you have to sit have to sit on the muscles and you know and it can be so powerful and so oh definitely yeah and and that kind of leads into um into like process so okay i guess how do you like to start um if you're drawing a head to tail dragon from head to mm -hmm. tail where do you like to start what's your initial sketch for for like your yeah, process just, normally i just make a dry angle for for the hat or or something like and then i just do circles like in the 80s in the back in the 80s there was you know, on television they're like 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 warm you know with just with small circles and then you can so like a spiral for the body kind of thing. yeah yeah i just always doing spirals for the body and then just one claw like this and the other back then and in different directions and yeah nice and then you build, i cannot you build say too much about it because it's a constant you know uh yeah it's always a struggle you know i'm just um doing it and doing it and doing it and um it's uh yeah i don't know but i'm it's it's easy for me and uh I sometimes I, I'm doing like, as I said before, I, it's maybe a little bit like sampling ideas that I had, you know, sometimes I just um, I lay down a head that I like that I did or something like that underneath it and then just I had the hat and, and re sampling or redo some ideas and, and change it and, and then I'm just doing the body on read or something like that you know right yeah yeah that's normally i work like this okay um i guess another good question leading from that would be um so like you know personally i had i had difficulty with like how the arms connected and the claws and things like that what would you say the biggest struggle was learning dragons what was the what was kind of maybe the problem area when you were first starting or or this kind of thing <laughs> it changes and and there's always always a, a thing of pain in the ass you know it's just like sometimes you you have you you, you 
think you understand okay now i i i understand like the claws and and you know two weeks later it's something different you know it's really it's really difficult for me it was i guess what really comes slow is to to and this is this is the thing i'm working on right now you know just to okay. to to have a little bit more it's life you know like ever like i said even from from australia he 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 just the shape of the dragons is not you know it's not too plain and it's it's mm. really alive and this is stuff i i work on like a expression or like something yeah, like yeah. this yeah right? yeah and 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 and, uh, and um, oh it's so, um the the turning of the body and and when you see the body that that it's not just not not that easy line it's just like with the shapes of the scales and you, you know and stuff like that and you see muscles mm. underneath the, the 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 scales and stuff like that you know this is really really difficult yeah that that's very difficult isn't it yeah mm. Because mm -hmm. it's not like everything's a tube. It, as soon as yeah, yeah, this is shaped differently. Yeah, now, it's shaped now differently, got... and it's getting larger and it gets getting smaller, and it you know and and stuff like that. That's really that's really tough. I think. Yeah, yeah. And connecting to the belly, connecting the scales into the belly. Some people make it very simple, and then it, every belly scale connects perfectly to the row of scales. But then you get people who've got like five scales going into one belly scale, and now you've got mm -hmm. to sort of break them off differently, or mm -hmm. you know, yeah. And sometimes, there... and sometimes it it's it's not a life when it's draw too perfect, you know. For yeah. me, it's just it's only it's my taste, you know. But I like a little bit more, you know. It's sometimes it don't have to be. I, I'm I'm not the friend like like a drug a dragon body and then you got five scales and just like really perfect. It's 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 not my I don't like it too much. No, mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah. I I kind of like. I mean, I I appreciate both worlds, but I know what you mean. I I like it when people can do both well. I like it when mm -hmm. people can get those scales perfect, but I also like it when they're all different sizes. It looks more believable somehow, you mm -hmm. know, and it's more gnarly. More and, life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I think, and that's what, what you say, sometimes I, I think you can see it if if someone, um, when, when he doing a traditional version of it with really plain and really, you know, but you can see it if this guy just like sketch it easily, you know, it's naturally like like this. It's 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 a different it's a different energy to it. Yes, like, yes. Like you know, just make construction of it and and like this. Yeah, you see it. I don't know. It's. Uh, yeah, when the scales are wrong, they're really wrong, and you see it, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. when it's simplified. You're like, oh, mm -hmm. he didn't mm -hmm. know how to bend it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and and you you see, you know, you see if a guy if if a guy I don't know, for me it's always the the, the best uh, example is uh, do you know Kalo from Stuttgart? No. He, yeah, he's a really 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 good traditional tattooist, but he is. Also, he couldn't do really photorealistic stuff. He he's mm. he was really good oil painter and stuff like that. And you see it in his plain stuff he did. You know, just do really traditional work. But you can see that this guy he can really draw. You know, mm. it's it's natural. You know, and I think that's a really a. It's really different, you know. Not that yeah. I just steal the stuff from Pinterest and then he just like and then rub it, and you know. Yeah, especially these realism guys. They know when they're really good at it. They know how to render something. They know how to make a shadow. They know how to make a light. And when mm -hmm. they put that on a dragon or something, mm -hmm. man, 
is a whole other a whole other ball game. So when you're drawing a claw, for example, do you make do you make a stick hand first, or do you make circles to make your claw, or this kind of thing? Normally, I just started with just lines and then okay. circles or like uh, what ellipse or what is called in English, like you know. Yeah, like so, yeah, circles. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just like with lines and then I just do uh, like like circles. I, I guess the, the, the most part of, of dragons are just circles, just, just, just circles. Okay, cool, cool. I yeah. think I, under, I think I understand what you're what you're saying. Scribbling shapes out or something, right? Yeah. Like, so you're, you're building everything. You're building everything first with form. You're, you're building. Yeah. Yeah. And, and most of all, it's just the whole dragon just circles. Like this, like this kind of uh, this kind of exactly. scribbling shape. Exactly, and this is this is how I, you know, I got my sketchbook uh, up in my apartment. But um, this is how I exactly like this. It's like just like circles, and I just do like a big like a eclipse for for the head, and then just like two horns and. And the claws, I just normally do like free, only like this, you know. Or cool. Something. Okay, that's that's huge. I mean, that's yeah. Th that this is a really good point because I I think not enough people are making because I think what it does is that that creates volume. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's creating shape around everything once you do that, mm -hmm. and that's that's huge. Maybe that's one of the main differences between something flat. And something like you say that you see the muscle and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I work on it. <laughs> Maybe 10, 15 years I can, I can figure it out. But yeah, I work on it daily, on daily basis. But yeah, and yeah, and sometimes um, it, yeah, like like I said before, it's like sampling. It's like okay. Then you you find uh, like um, like a placement for glory, and then then you do it again, and it, it looks a little bit different, and then you just flip it around and, and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a good point too, actually, because sometimes there's like that classic claw where you're seeing the body, you're seeing the knee, and then you see the two fingers stick out or something like this, right? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I use this one a lot over and over again. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. And uh, for when it's required, you know, and then and then the big reaching one or something like that, and you've got mm -hmm. the you've got the arm following, and then the claw following the arm or something, mm -hmm. and then the other two claws kind of coming up or something like that. Um, there's definitely ones, yeah, that that get used over and over again. And then you see this in Chinese art, and you see it in like Japanese art, where they'll use the same body shape. A lot of artists using the same body shape a few yeah, times sure. for a, mm -hmm. for a back piece, or or like with those tiger paintings, right? You see them; mm -hmm. they're all the same poses of tiger, and they have the same moon, and then they have the same grass. But you see ten or twelve different artists doing them, and each artist one has different stripes, one has different grass, but it's all the same composition, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious about those things because there's definitely classics like this in in dragons. Of course, there's the mm -hmm. there's the Hokusai dragons that that a lot of people have copied, yeah, and like copy. that, and yeah. and um and like we say, Hogai. Mm -hmm. I think Hogai's the coolest, in my opinion, for the for faces me and also, things but... and the bodies and claws. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so detailed, right? Mm -hmm. It's just the perfect dragon. I do that over and over and over again. It's like just, a like ugly face dragon, right? Like a yeah, 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 like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mick told me a lot of you know working more with the classic references. You know, I just uh, um, as I started getting tattooed by him, I showed my stuff, and it was more inspired by by the new version of dragons, and he showed me a lot more. Um, a lot more references, you mm. know, the old stuff and so on. And so at that point, I started digging deeper and, you know, looking out for, for the... 
Yeah, it's like we have to kind of educate ourselves a little bit so that we know what the classics are. Mm -hmm. Then we can recognize mm -hmm. them in, in others and, and mm -hmm. we can see, oh, that's actually extra clever now because I can see that mm -hmm. this is kind of a trope from here or, or this is like yeah, sure. from this. Yeah, sure. yeah remix you start like you digging deeper, you know, you see, ah, okay, I saw that before. I know where he got this from, from and then, you know, sure. Yeah. Yeah, and it's funny because I, I I know a lot of people who who are really they want to be artists, of course, and they want to avoid being put mm -hmm. into these boxes. And and uh, I was one of those people too in the beginning of my kind of tattooing mm -hmm. career. I was like, oh, I don't want to copy anybody. I want to have my own thing and everything. I want to draw from my imagination mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. But a lot of my work was shit because of that. I wasn't referencing things. And now I feel really happy to pay little salutes to all of my favorite. Mm -hmm you know, mm -hmm. all of my favorite artists and stuff like that. And, and, and then, and then there's a few people that recognize it. And when they recognize it, they go, Oh, cool. That, you know, mm -hmm. you looked at yeah, the yeah, dragon. I, when I you think you this. can just do totally your own thing with it. But yes. you know, the foundation is just like, yeah, I don't know. It, for me, it's, it, it's just, Personally, my taste, you know, it's like when you see it, it's, it's not too comic stuff, you know, and especially with dragons and it, it's, it's, it's easily that it's really comic version, you know, with the sketching and stuff like that. And so it's always good to have some, you know, where you can look at. And when you're painting them, you're, you paint them in acrylic, you like acrylic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of all. Uh, now I just paint one in oil, but oil is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's just it's I know. forever. So, I just did yeah. that bodysuit in oil. Oh man, like, oh, all right. I, it's so okay. difficult, man. How many months? Uh, it took a while. <laughs> it took yeah. a while. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, normally I work with acrylics, but now I'm I'm try to think about more like do watercolors i want to be faster just like you know it's it's the, the most funniest part is to create that stuff you know and then you know of course i want to have a finish painting and and look nice but the, the most fun part and the most part where you learn something is just creating it and so i try, try to find really something that makes me a little, little more faster. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the so thing I, I did the last oil painting and just, it's, it's, I got, you know, two different pieces in my head right now and I have to finish this thing. And, and uh, I don't know what, I don't want to do that anymore. I just, I guess I, have to learn a lot more about watercoloring and you know and to be comfortable with it and then mm. i can play it out quick i guess mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. yeah it's definitely one of the quicker one of the quicker ones once once you get it right it's it's one of the uh it's designed to be done fairly quickly although even that can be stretched out like i've watched ichibe painting with watercolors for example and and mm -hmm. he does everything with a very light wash first and you know he's taped his paper down very tightly to the to the board and and he'll do like a whole if if there's going to be a black area like in a hanya mask hair or something like that mm -hmm. he'll at first he paints it light gray and then he mm -hmm. takes the same light gray once it's dry and he paints light gray again and now it's medium gray. And then he paints everything else and it's all smooth. And then he paints one more time in, in the area and now it's going to be black. So like watching that and, and thinking, wow, that's a lot of patience, mm -hmm. but it's also such a good control of how the water is going to absorb into the paper. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very delicate, <laughs> fragile thing. Okay. Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah. Normally, my water technique is like, okay, there's black, and then there is some light gray, and I just, okay, I'm going with black, and then water it, and okay, I fuck it totally up. Maybe I try it like this and make some layering, but, but yeah. 
And this is on the rice paper too. This is what I'm talking about mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. um, I think it's different when you're painting on the cold press Canson mm -hmm. paper. The, the thick watercolor paper is, is different mm -hmm. from the thin rice paper, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's going to absorb differently. My, my favorite now is definitely thin rice paper. I love it. It, it goes really? in. I never try it. And I never try it. You know. Oh, it's it's, it's beautiful because like the 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 other stuff, it kind of sits on top of the paper. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, of course, it soaks in a little bit, but it's like you're painting on top. Mm -hmm. But rice paper and and washi paper, it's it's like you're painting inside the. It's like soaking into the paper, and you flip the back around, and and, and you the, see the back of the painting, and it's like okay. oh, I love I love looking at that. Okay. okay. Can you do you know where to get washi paper? Uh, the Japanese paper and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That stuff's I, really I good. Always get it, but the thing is, you know, um, um, like <coughs> you know, so many people make nowadays painting on washi paper. So I try not to make it, you know, a little bit my own. Now, when I started doing washi papers, it's like it would look like you know, like. Oliver McIntosh or something like that, you know, and sure, yeah. and it's He's always, amazing. yeah, 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 absolutely, and and it's always it's absolutely difficult to to make a little bit own, you know, it's yeah. So I keep off my finger from that washi paper, you know, you know, it's yeah, because like, you might find um, one, one thing I noticed about it. I, I, I was lucky enough to find a paper store in, in Vancouver <laughs> and and this paper store had some washi paper and I thought, OK, well, there's some washi paper. But then she's like, no, no, no. That's one kind of washi paper. Look at this. And I flipped through all these different pages, mm -hmm. thick, thin, brown, yellow, white. Mm -hmm. So now I'm trying all these different kinds of smooth, rough. Mm -hmm. And they're all different Japanese families that make them, right? Mm -hmm. And and I was like, okay, now I have to find my favorite washi paper. And I still haven't found my favorite washi paper. <laughs> okay, but, uh, okay. I think I that's guess, um, uh, Tokyo Pigment is a very very good address for uh, for all the paper and pigment stuff and brushes. Oh, nice. And Tokyo Pigment, I guess they got the Instagram uh, site and with a link to mm. you know, I guess they yeah. Are in 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 Tokyo where you have to pay in yen or yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. But maybe I have yeah. a look there. But, but I keep off my hands. You know, it's it's just too. You know, it's it would like I don't know. Try a little bit my own. Maybe I, I with another version of a dragon. In the future, I come and do an owashi or something like that. We yeah, it's see. like it makes it look instantly Japanese or something. Um, yeah, 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 that's true, that's true. I got this brown washi paper, and it was like the last sheet that they had, right? And I was like, oh, cool, I, I like this. Do you have any more? And she's like, no, no, that's, that's the last. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, it's out of stock forever. I'm like, well, what do you mean it's out of stock forever? Oh, well, the guy who made the washi paper died, and it was a family style, a family tradition of making this paper. And he didn't pass on the tradition to a child, okay. like to to his uh, children. So that's it. It's done. <laughs> but I, I, I'm painting on this washi paper, and I'm like, "Fuck! I better paint something good on this on this washi paper because it's literally the last one." Like, you know, it's interesting. It's a different feeling when you when you work with that kind of thing. You know? Yeah, I mean? it's a little bit pressure. Huh? Don't fuck it up. Well, if it's and it's like... more precious than a fucking iPad. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going with that iPad thing. It's it for me. It's it's. I bought it because you know I see all those positive things about it, and you know, but yeah, I not get used to it. It's just uh, it's it's just a different it's a different feeling about it. You know. Yeah, um, I agree. It's not this it's not as tactile. <coughs> it's a good tool. It's like a video game for drawing. But mm -hmm. ultimately Sometimes I'm doing I'm you... doing um um like stickers on it because it's then you have the coloring and can put it on a printer or something like that. 
but I yeah. love just, you know, like, like the pencil. And some days ago, I figured out there is a, like, for the, I don't know the word for it, the, like, you know, the falling uh, pencil, you know, the, the thin, I don't know. Oh, the, yeah, mechanical the, pencil, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are, um, there are like different colors for the means or minds. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, the lead. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's really awesome. <laughs> I really love that. So I don't need no iPad. Yeah, I got some red, some red lead for my pencil. The, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stadler and lilac and, and orange and yellow and uh, yeah, cool. Can be fancy with it now. Uh, yeah, man. And you sketch mostly on like uh, tracing paper or just any kind mm -hmm. of paper. Yeah, like normally a mix out of like marker paper, like like really thin. Thin um, and what's the word for like clot? Oh, I don't know the word for. Yeah, like really thin marker paper and 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 tracing paper. Okay, yeah, like vellum. I think maybe the word you're thinking about Ve vellum, like drafting, drafting paper, right? It's like transparent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then normally I just really try to sketch really really tiny and then just um, lay it on the table, like and like blow it up and and nice. come with some paper and just doing, doing the outlines. Okay, this is huge. This is a big thing because most people are too impatient for that. And it's like, you could have drawn that thing five times and picked your favorite one, but instead you went with one thing and maybe you just settled for something that wasn't as good as you could have done. Mm -hmm. It had you drawn it a bunch of times small first, right? Mm -hmm. Not enough people make a thumbnail sketch, I think, you know? Yeah, no, normally I start with a thumbnail, very, really a thumbnail like, like a palm of hand size something like that and then i blow it up to a size where it can really put all the details in <clears throat> and then i do the, the really the, the exact size and then i draw the outlines awesome. and then awesome. i can see that you know that i don't do the lines too much together or stuff like that you know the, the, the nice. doing thing yeah and so you're drawing everything to scale. You're not making it smaller and blowing it up on a photocopier. You're drawing things real size. No, just just the outlines. Just oh, okay. Yeah, just the clean outline thing for the for the stencil. You know mm. that I do normally in in the real size. Yeah? Nice, nice. But, but normally I just do it a little smaller, because you know um, my. My big difficulty is I pack too much detail every time, I, you know, and so this is a little bit, it's, you know, in this, in this way I can, uh, I don't do mistakes like that, you know, I don't, because there are not, it's not too much space. So it's for my thing I did, it's a little bit better to do make it a little larger and then it's, it's, it's not too complicated, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you recommend for somebody who's like, say, struggling, struggling, learning about how to make a dragon? Um, like maybe more drawing or something like this. Do you, do you recommend maybe filling up a sketchbook or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Man. And this, yeah. This is what I do, just like over and over and over and over and over and over again, you know. After you're doing 20,000 hours of sketching dragons, then it clicks, you know. Yeah. I think it's, this, this is just the only way. For me, you know, for me. There are guys, you know, just they can draw everything, but for me, everything just come really from hard work. It's just always, I have always to work the, the extra mile. <laughs> for me, it feels like that, you know, it's, I'm always the, la the last one to catch it. But yeah. So yeah, I, I feel the same way for me too. I had to, yeah. I saw people who got it right away. Mm -hmm. The third try is like, oh yeah, I mm -hmm. can do this. And for me, mm -hmm. I had to draw a hundred to get there, you know, and I'm like, 
for sure for sure so maybe uh, 20,000 hours of uh, doing little circles and you know and and claws and maybe uh, you get it you know and uh, yeah but it's but it's a good point too because you know there, there's that saying what is it um talent without um talent without practice or something like that is is kind of wasted right it's like if you have talent, okay, that's cool, but it's not really good enough. You know, you also need to practice. Mm -hmm. You also need to put in the hours, like you say. Sometimes, in retrospective, you know, the guys who got too much talent, they didn't use it. You know, they just more smoking dope, or you know, like they didn't use it, and and maybe it's not. It's not the biggest part just to have talent. I guess you have to have hard work for it, you know, and then you, you get here and there, you get a little bit like this and then, yeah, I guess yeah. it's more fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause but, some people, that, some people, they, um, you know, they don't have the talent, but then they do put in the hours and because they put in the hours suddenly, now it appears like they have the talent or something like that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, no, I, I agree with that for sure. Uh, it can be wasted, right? It can be wasted if, if you don't. I met two or three guys in, in my life with, you know, it's like that, you know, just it was too easy for them that they don't, um, how should I say, like, 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 you know, I don't know the word English word for, but you you, you get it, or right? yeah, yeah. They feel they feel like um, they feel like they don't have to work anymore. Oh, I I understand this already. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, their friend who didn't understand it, who drew a hundred more than them, suddenly now they they have a, a deeper understanding. Maybe you know, mm -hmm. maybe maybe when. Yeah. So, but it's it's hard for me to to to, to give advice, cause you know, um, um, it's it's a dragon's or a subject matter. That I I put a lot of work into it, but I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling like I can say anything about how you you can do that or this or that. You know, I'm just struggling every every time. But for me, I choose that because. Um, really love it you know it's just the, the most powerful image that i can imagine so mm. i pick that out i want to be good at this you know yeah 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 i know exactly the, the feeling and maybe that's something that's more important than talent or time is the fact that after a hundred of them you still love it after a thousand mm. of them you still love drawing them after mm. ten thousand you still want to keep drawing them, right I hope, is, so. uh, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And yeah. so, uh, yeah. Just want to be good at it and and, um, and try to learn every 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 time, you know. Yeah. Well, you're doing a hell of a job. I mean, the stuff that you're producing, you. like I say, it it sticks out. It <laughs> sticks out from the from the crowd, and I've looked. Yeah, it's it's. The point of view, you know, you know, <laughs> for me, it's not like this, but okay, it's, but thank you, I really appreciate it, uh, but, you know, I'm just, of course, for me, it's fucking struggle, you know, every time, you know, and sometimes you get, you know, okay, now my claws are a little bit better than the claws before, but now the head or the horns or the ears or I don't know, I, you know, yeah. Yeah, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Sometimes it's easy to just get that flow and get everything connected. It's like, oh, yeah, I've got this. And then one day you try to draw the same shape thing. And it's like, fuck, why does that claw look weird? Oh, I need to I need to change it. Oh, oh what the fuck, you know? Yeah, sure. But, yeah. Maybe we're just more critical though. now. You know, the more you do it, maybe you just become mm -hmm. more critical. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's the, you, you, re, you refine it, you know. You just you seeing stuff that you never uh, um, you never see before, you know, in claws or or in the body or you know you 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 start it and 
do some scales on on, on the on the on the stomach and stuff like and, and then you and then you realize oh okay it looks more natural to not to do it in the exact way or make it shrink it a little bit and just yeah and and then you come back another time and and we find this and this and maybe maybe once i i I can do just one really, really good dragon, you know, just one masterpiece that will be really good. Yeah, that's my goal. <laughs> you know? yeah. Well, I think, uh, I think you're achieving a, a, a lot of that, like I say, man, but um, here, here's one. Uh, so when you see people making, we see a lot of dragons all the time posted on, on, on Instagram, for example. And, and of course, we're trained to see our own mistakes. What do you see the biggest mistakes people are making all the time with the dragons, would you say? I mean, there's a lot of them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be uh, like, you know, like, yeah, but I'm really picky in it, you know? It's, uh, of course, I see a lot of stuff where it's for my taste, it's it's too fantasy or, you know, to this okay. and to that. It, I'm really picking in, in it, you know? So, the most, I don't know. I don't know. We all have the, the, the same problems, you know? take too much time on, on the head and then, then the, the body is really, you know, when you draw it by yourself, you, you see it in the, in, the, in the different, in the guy's other painting also, you know, or to do, you know, it's like, ah, you know, I have the same problem with that and this and, you know, and ah, okay, you, you hide it there and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just, I guess I'm really picky in, 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 in the, when it comes to dragon. Yeah. It's a good point, though. Yeah, people spend all this time focusing on making the head, making the arrow. Yeah, sure, they, they do all the time, of course, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then they rush the body and they, and they, mm -hmm. and they shit the bed on mm -hmm. the body. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, oh, fuck it, I'll just hide it behind a cloud. Done. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, but you see that. You, you see it always, you know. It's just, you see it always if the guy hides something because he don't figure it the part out you know or he just hide it because it's like mysterious stuff you know because they're you know yeah yeah mm -hmm. or like sometimes there'll be a, a, the body but the arm starts here and the other arm comes out here or something mm -hmm. it, and instead of you know coming out of mm -hmm. the same place or something mm -hmm. like this that's mm -hmm. another common one scales scales turning uh, or it looks like the scales but, are just like pressed on like a pattern yeah but it's it's just a pain in the ass you know scales are just a pain in the ass oh so, yeah yeah oh, i got I heard it. that one from from mick on 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 my upper leg you know he just he had on his sketch just like the outlines of 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 the dragon and no scale or no no helping line just mm. Only you know, and he drew in the completely, the completely the scales freehanded, but wow. with the being directly freehanded. Wow, that was really amazing. And then I just asking about, yeah, man, give me some tips and and, and stuff like that. And he was like, boom, boom. I don't know, just try to get around the corner. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, but that's the thing, you know. I guess he didn't. He did 10 million scales, so he don't think about it anymore. I don't need a line like this because I um, didn't did for the last 30 years nothing else on Dragon. So, mm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah, uh, that's interesting. I wonder. So he, he said he's not using any grids. He just was able to do it. Do you remember? It was he was he coming from one side to the next, one side to the next, or was he going scale, 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 you know what I mean? Was he going yeah, back yeah, and, and forth? Yeah, just, just always from, from the top to the bottom. Okay, top to the bottom, right, very right. uh, And when you got the band like this, and then you can, can 
you 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 got biggest to, just you small imagine you you're lying you know in right you know i you know and then you can can go a little bit bigger on on the on the upper side you know and then come down mm. yeah this is an important point because uh this is maybe the difference between having a, a an area that doesn't work and making it flow perfectly right starting mm -hmm. on the outside for the biggest going to small mm -hmm. yeah this is a big one for me now i'm just i i try every you know like like this the the you know the sketching like this and then it, you do like the the oh it's the cross crossing you know, and try to but i just stop that and just doing i just doing it with but i draw it before you know <laughs> i draw it for for the stencil but i just draw it i i stopped doing uh some like like cross lines or something oh, okay certain. In coins or something, I do that. When you got a, a, a hole, you know, then it's easy and 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 it fits for me and works for me. You know, do it like this and then come down and do it the other way. But with dragons, I just, um, I think, yeah, it, go with the flow. And in, in the end, it doesn't matter. You know, no one counts the scales for me. You know, it doesn't. You know. You see, if if the guy knows what he's doing, or the, the girl knows who, but um, in the end, it doesn't count, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for me. But when you're doing really straight Japanese stuff with just five scales on the whole body, or three scales like this, then maybe you you <laughs> do it like this. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, the the more simple you go, the the less room you have for mistakes. For sure, for sure. Yeah. The more complicated, the more you can maybe hide the mistakes or or. Mm -hmm. But but the more complicated one, every most people look at it and they go, "Wow, it's it's so much more." I mean, and and I guess it is in a lot of ways. It's more artistic in in a lot of ways, but um, I guess it has less limitations, maybe. It's it's just it's like just taste. I think it's it just, is taste. Yeah, it's of course you got you got some. You know, it have to be work as a tattoo, and you know, and and it has to be getting older and stuff like that. You know, the 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 technical side of tattoo it have to work, but it's it's just a matter of taste. Yeah, uh, you're right. Not my taste. You know, I. I I sometimes, you know, it worked for, for Instagram, you know, like a screen thing, you know, and then, but I want to, to look my body and see some detail stuff, you know, but it's just, yeah. It's preference, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, I know you've made prints and stuff like that in, in the past, yeah. and you probably still got some. You have you still have some prints uh, on 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 your site and things like that? Yeah, a little bit. I guess. Okay. Uh, I really out of stock, <laughs> but but okay. yeah, a little bit. Like yeah. You have any um like book projects or anything coming? No, no, no. It would be it would be it would be pretty cool to see a a Maraud sketchbook or something. You know, that would be like a pretty cool thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. In the future, we will see. <laughs> cool, cool. I hope so. Yeah. Um, and I saw you just have some new, um, some new shop shirts. Is it? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and I just um, they are gone, man. In one evening, just like <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So I have to do uh, some new ones and order it. And I, I, I work the the whole afternoon on an, on another shop because we got. Uh, um, a convention, a Kaiserstadt convention in, in oh, cool. I, I guess you heard about it. And it's in the end of April, so I work for a little bit more of merchandise and, 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 and stuff for the convention. Okay, cool, cool. Anything you want to talk about in, in closing? Um, is there any, anything else you want to touch on? No, no. It's, uh, it's not easy. F yeah. What should I say about dragons? I don't know. Maybe... 
keep your eyes peeled because in some years I will do a good dragon. <laughs> Cool, cool. Yeah, keep keep on uh, checking out Marode's uh, dragon posts and and prints and paintings. Um, oh, one last thing related to that. I saw that you did one with um, you did a collaboration with Pablo Barada and uh, mm -hmm. who else was? Oli Lonian. Right. This mm -hmm. was amazing. This was an amazing painting yeah. from you guys. Yeah. Was How did you guys from from Pablo and Oli? They they are friends till I don't know forever since. 20 years or something like that and and so uh, and ollie and i uh, you know he's here from germany and and so we we know each other and 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 then he invited me to to do stuff like that yeah it was uh, a fun one and, and was, you know, was pablo visiting or did you send it no no he just he started it and and, and just sent it from argentina because he was in, in that in that um lockdown time and stuff so yeah cool that's a yeah. nice idea i like that that's yeah. lo long distance uh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it took forever to finish it but yeah it was yeah that's so cool man uh -huh. okay yeah so uh thanks very much for for spending this I, time and chatting thank you. i really appreciate it man it's nice nice to meet you nice to talk to you and uh hope to uh hope to talk to you some more in the future sometime my pleasure huh? No? All right. All right. Keep in touch. Bye. Take, take okay. care, my friend. Bye.